now go to p30 see i am able to see only two tabs why it it is basically because of the user group dependency so that user group is also having access to pa30 i am also having access to pa30 the only difference because of the user group dependency the access is different i mean the permission is different that user group is permitted for certain tabs certain info types my user group is permitted for certain tabs and certain info types so this was the complete configuration of info groups user group info type menus action menus personal actions okay so now uh, you are done with the configuration now as a practical example let us see how you want to run your action keep in mind when i say personal action i am telling pa40 go to pa40 yes pick up your action here okay pick up your action i believe you might be basically remembering your previous lectures because in the previous sessions i told you regarding the personal number ranges what is internal number range what is external number range if at all if you don't remember i would recommend go back to that session repeat it and then come to this session otherwise you will be losing something here because when you when i run this personal actions now all those enterprise structure personal structure all that information will be coming up here so if you if you're not familiar or if if you don't think you're perfect in that i recommend go back practice that and then come back to this point okay so i am selecting this action here i am executing here execute now tell me what is what it is doing it is calling the info group because for that particular action we assigned a info group and we assigned i think nearly six info types in sequence so that info types are coming one after the other this info type number is 0000 because this is actions info type this is info type don't get confused with this action and this action this is the pa40 pa40 but when i execute this so what it is doing the info group which was assigned to this action is getting called so i'm executing this this is the first info type called 0000 in my previous lecture i told you some of the fields are very mandatory which has the tick mark here so now i am hiring a person here so the start date is like i am telling okay fine this person is hired as of 0101 2014 okay so now this action type it's coming default because i picked up this action in the previous screen pa40 so now what is reason for action i configured one reason for action right zenith hire usa if you remember i i created one reason okay now what is the personal area personal area was any chemicals or i would say us now whenever you hit enter there are some information pending the sap will give you a hard error hard error in the sense like it will be a red exclamatory mark like it will show you that some information is missing and you have to enter some way, something here so my employee group if i remember is z and then my employee group if you don't remember you can definitely search by here by clicking on this icon but i remember my employee sub group so i'm entering and hitting enter the moment i hit enter it gave me all this text see zenith active it showed me zenith salary because system knows about this text this is beautifully designed by sap see i enter just the number it showed me the text also now look at this number 50062 if you recall sap has given this number because we already told the system like this has to be internal number assignment so if you go to my previous lecture you focus on the feature numker which is n u m k r in that feature you will get a clear understanding how this number range has been defaulted so anyways this is this is the internal number sap has basically given a number so my first info type has been done 
so when i save when i save this automatically the second info type should come which is info type 1 0 0 0 1 so my this is my second info type good here it is asking to enter the sub area when i click on this sub area so it shows me what are the sub areas i have configured if you remember in the enterprise structure configuration i showed you there were two personal sub areas which i created so i am clicking on zenith uh, chicago this is a sub area and the most important thing here in this screen here when it pops up for this particular payroll area it says the control record has not been created for payroll area and this error will even come for you when you practice when you practice this error will come for you so just focus what i am doing to overcome this particular error so and uh, second important thing here uh, for the payroll area zm how did it came automatically if you remember the feature a b k r s that feature is used to default the payroll area in the info type one there that's why because of that feature this payroll area is coming default now let us first uh, overcome this error to overcome this error there is the transaction code only for this error it shows control record has not been created for payroll area zm i will take uh, this particular topic in a separate lecture but just to overcome here uh, this error here let us follow this step slash o p a 03 not p a 30 p a 03 what is p a 03 p a 03 is the transaction code to go to the control record i press enter so why i am entering slash 0 because i don't want the current screen to be disturbed i want to keep the current screen as well as work on another transaction so i am hitting enter so it will basically just a second let me okay so this screen will come up when this screen comes up so what was your payroll area it was showing error it was showing error for zm right so it says the control record has not been created for payroll area so control record has to be created so when you go to the transaction pa03 it takes you to this screen enter the payroll area zm and then hit enter it will show you your payroll area click on create and give some payroll period this i will explain you in the payroll section but just uh, here i will tell you put some value like first month of 2014 and also give the same uh, period here i will explain you what this particular uh, field means in the separate lecture hit enter and then save the control record got created so that error should not come anymore so if i go back to this screen if i press that error has gone so this error is information a yellow color is always information you don't you don't have to worry about that just press enter That's it. it says save your entries okay let me just go and save my entries so before saving the entries if you see here this is info type 1 info type 1 has enterprise structure personal structure and organizational structure if you know the position here you can enter but if there is no position you can enter 9 that is the basic uh, number which sap has provided because position is always created under organizational management which is a separate hcm module now since we don't have that particular uh, i mean we didn't create any position so i'm entering this number now save it now when i save this one the next info type will pop up which is nothing but info type 2 this is coming as per the info group which we defined so let us give the last name as uh, adam uh, first name is John 
and give the SSN uh, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9. Okay, and the date of birth uh, 0101977 and give something details. Now press enter and now save it. Keep in mind only this info type will have the start date which is equal to the birth date. Only this info type which is info type number 2. Now I save it. The next info type which comes up is as per the info group is the uh, address info type which is uh, 0006. So that should pop up here. So it popped up. So it is telling you okay which address so i told you these are the subtypes for the address info type i am telling permanent address so this is the address info type so now i am writing something like okay this is address line i would say chicago state is uh, illinois and zip code is 60657 now my address is done i would say it. the next info type which it which comes here is So, this info type is not a part of the info group, but why it came up, I will take up in the next uh, section, uh, like why it is coming up, even though we have not basically uh, added this info type in the uh, list of the info group. Uh, this is a dynamic action, but uh, this is a separate topic, I will explain you. So, do not have to panic why this info type came up, because in the info group, we did not give this one. So, not to, uh, you know, uh, skip this one you have to click this particular icon not this one don't ever uh, try to click this is exit this is escape just i want to skip i skip fine i just skipped it now the info type 7 came up so info type 7 stores the working time since we have not completed the time management so this i would like to skip this because when i complete the time management that time i will show you how to maintain this info type so this info type is basically info type number 7 now i am going to skip this one the next info type is info type 8 which is basic pay and this is a part of payroll section so when once i complete the payroll you will be able to understand but what is the purpose i am showing here is when i run an action it is calling the info types one after the other depending on the info group because info group has a sequence of that info types which we defined and if you remember we just defined the info group only till this info type after this info type i think there is no other info types we have defined so my info group is done so when i when i skip it will take me back to the pa40 screen see i just came out it just kicked me off because there is no other info type after info type basic pay so this is the complete life cycle of how you create an info group, how you create your own user group, how you create personal action, how you assign the info group to the personal action, how you create the action menu, how you create the info type menu and then in practically how you run an action and see whether all those info types which you have defined are coming one after the other so hope this class was interesting but i i i assume like you know for the first time it will really look very difficult but uh, if you practice two to three times uh, yeah, the best way is like i would suggest uh, i've been always suggesting like keep a notebook and uh, try to uh, you know uh, design yourself with the different uh, numbers or structures and then only start configuring if you just start configuring you might lose somewhere in between like oh what was my info group what is my info type what is my user group never just have the things lying in the air always put up in a paper or book that is a habit i would always suggest to practice okay so this was the end of the class uh, let's see the uh, next uh, section which is a uh, new topic thank you bye